So it's a beautiful Saturday um, afternoon, almost evening, and we are on our way to the zoo. We're gonna go take the babies today. It was totally like unplanned. We're not planning on going to the zoo today. And I kind of thought to myself, and I was like, you know what? Cutie's like about to be born, and I don't know, like maybe this is gonna be the last time we go out as a family. You're gonna start getting emotional. No, I'm not getting emotional. I'm good. Obviously, like there's still a couple days. We don't know when Cutie's coming, but I decided that today we're gonna make it a day to actually do something that the kids wanna do. She gets emotional, um, especially during these times. So I didn't wanna mention it, but yeah, it's probably our last. So we're excited. I mean, spontaneous, you know, spicing things up. So let's go. So I don't know if this is gonna be like my last bump selfie or video selfie. So I'm like cherishing the bump from last time. I'm gonna miss my bump for sure. But oh God, I'm so ready to have this baby. I'm so excited. We hope that this is it. So right now we're about to head out. Yeah, I kind of did my hair a little bit. My makeup, una pasadita. So we'll be heading out shortly right now. We're gonna setting everything up. All right, so we're all packed up, ready to go. We're ready. And I'm my in-laws to come in and stay with the kids while we go get this show on the road. Yeah, we don't we don't know if we're gonna stay or not. Like the words they can tell us is like to go back, but it's worth and going. It's worth going, going just to be in. safe. And so they're here. You ready, baby? Yeah. You got this. Well, no, you got this, but we got this. <laughs> what you got there, babe? A very complicated drink. <laughs> So they sent me to the waiting area. They're just gonna check, make sure, I guess, if, if she's gonna be staying or not. Hopefully it is baby time. Uh, I'm still like, I'm nervous, like my tripas are all, and it's not because of the food. So God willing, she's ready and God willing, everything's okay. Hey guys, so we're admitted. <laughs> mm -hmm. So she's three centimeters dilated. Um, they went ahead and called her doctor. She gave the green light to have a stay. We'll have her stay, but I mean, of Be course, admitted. have us stay. I'm not yet in active labor. Contractions are spaced uh, a little bit apart, but they ended up uh, leaving us here because they said that they that that there was a a little dip or two little dips in the in the, the heart, heart rate, rate for the baby, so they didn't want to send me home, you know, and go through contractions and start going through all of that alone without like monitoring the baby. So um, I asked to be wireless free. Uh, Not wireless free, just wireless. Oh, <laughs> I asked to be wire free um, or wireless. So I have the hip lock on right now. I'm gonna make sure that I drink a lot of water because they're not giving me any IV fluids. Um, I'm on the Bluetooth monitors and they're not monitoring my blood pressure right now. I kinda wanna move around and walk around. So yeah, guys, we're having a baby today. Um, Hopefully today. We're excited, very excited to meet our baby cutie if it's a boy or a girl. I'm still able to talk, so. So yeah, so right, um, up until now, she's still, she's still the protagonist. Well, she's always gonna be the protagonist, but she's the <laughs> narrator. So, hopefully, later rather than sooner, I'll become the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruben just went to get our bags from the car, like our labor bags. 
like very grateful because I told them I don't want you guys to starve me like I want to keep eating during the process and they said okay it depends on your doctor and my doctor obviously like Dr. Sad is, is la mejor um, so yeah she let me eat anything I want it's not like only like liquid diets or like a light diet unless we're having a baby today I'm telling you these burgers are balling my wife got some chicken and we can't forget the mineragua told you I was gonna sneak some in Baby girl got emotional, happy. She's excited. We're doing this together, but God is with us. Let's do this. I love you. Oh, still there. Baby's still there. I'm gonna walk it off. Walk it off like a champ. Yes. Walking the baby out. <laughs> right now, we just finished walking. I think we walked for like 30. 40 minutes, no? Yeah. We were just going up and down the hallway. Right now she's on the ball again. Mueve lo mami. Mueve lo mueve lo mami. She's gonna keep doing those exercises. They're gonna bring another another little inflatable for her. All right, so right now she's on the Cub Comfortable Upright Birth. Vamonos. So it's like a little, like a little cubito, but it has a, a space right there for her, for her belly. So we're gonna do that. Let me cover you up for this part. All right, we're gonna be giving her some little decompresses right here. Can't do this with the camera, but I'm gonna be putting some pressure right here on, on her pelvis, on both sides, just kind of giving her, helping her relieve some pressures. So I'm gonna be doing that. Baby girl fell asleep. That's how good this cub is. Just brought straight from her back. Give her some rest. It's about to be 3 p.m. We've been in the hospital for about three, like five, six hours. Pretty sure they're gonna check her soon to see where she's at. She's really tired, obviously. She's been up since two. After every delivery, she tells me, Ruben, remind me how much this hurts whenever I want to get pregnant again. Six months later, she wants to get pregnant again. So I tell her, hey, remember. Remember how much it hurts. Remember how much it hurts you and you told me to remind you. She's like, Ay, it's not even that bad. But I have no choice then to deliver, so I deliver and here we are in the delivery room. So you can't see it, but that's a peanut ball. Those inflatable balls helping her open up her pelvis a little bit more. Already really sleepy. Just been up for 14 hours. You got anything to say for those new moms? Any advice? Don't do it! Don't do it! <laughs> Maybe, yeah. mm -hmm. She's amazing. She's always taking it like a champ. Hmm? I'm gonna pray right now, make sure that everything's healthy. Her and baby stay good. And say a quick prayer. How are you feeling, baby? It's good. <laughs> a little tired. Just get a little close-up. Well, as all the nurses are saying, she looks beautiful. Like, if she's too pretty to be pregnant. Oh, that was my phone. Was oh, they checked me four hours ago, and then right now they like, just went and checked me. And I'm still the same, so... Slightly progressed. Slightly. slightly progressed. Ever so slightly, but slightly. So not the words I wanted to hear, but I mean, slightly progress is better than I 
you guys a little progress. They're they're trying to put her on Pitocin, which some of y'all know what that means, some of y'all don't. Um, but it's pretty much just an agent to help uh, ripen her up. No, 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 false contraction. Oh, to create contractions. No, false, uh, artificial contractions. Artificial contraction. Just create, it just triggers contractions. We're trying not to go into Pitocin, and we're trying to do the Cytotec, which is the one that she's used in the past for, for the past three deliveries, which is, it does help, and it's helped her specifically. Yeah. But all the other ones have been induced, and this one has already been like, I guess she started on her own, so we don't know if it's gonna be possible. So yeah, wish us luck, and we'll keep you guys posted, all right? All right, so the walk continues. We just got the green light. To do what I wanted to do for induction, which is not Pitocin. Not Pitocin. So as I have a smile on my face. I mean, it's gonna be painful, I know that. But, but that one's a little more like reasonable. They already got the green light from the doctor. So, for now, we're just gonna keep on walking. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, so it's 6 p.m. 6 30. Uh, 30. Mm -hmm. And Alejandra just got her first dose of Cytotec. Mm -hmm. So, there's a popped it right in just checked me and i haven't progressed um i'm still at three centimeters it's been a couple hours that i've been like that so that's why they're proceeding to to do that to do that pill which i'm fine with i don't want to stay stalled at you know three centimeters i know that things are going to get crazy after this because when they use um inducing medications um you know it's it's a little tougher but I'm just grateful that I have my husband with me and he's been cheering on me and, and helping me through the contraction. Yeah, it's almost baby time. Baby time. Well, you feel them stronger? You got this, my love. We almost got baby cutie. Eh? We almost gonna be baby cutie. Keep that breathing good. You're doing amazing. Okay. Alejandra. Yeah, I think that was the same one. Nice mm. yes, for me. So Alejandra's getting those really, really bad contractions now. Yeah. All right, she's on the verge of tears. Tears of joy, tears of joy. She's hanging on in there, working through them, walking through them. Mm -hmm. She's trying to finish her food at the same time. <laughs> in between, <laughs> in between contractions. So she's, she's doing an amazing job. You're doing an amazing job, baby. Keep it going. So things might get a little crazy from here on out. But it's okay, right then? Yes. Anything you want to say to baby cutie? I love you, baby cutie. I'm just hoping that everything is okay with you. I keep checking on the monitor to make sure that you're okay. I hope I'm strong enough. You are the strongest, baby. Ain't your first rodeo, cowgirl. Oh, another one. I'm just going to throw another one. Oh. All right. I'm supposed to make the baby diaper bag. And the little baskets that we made uh, for each of our personal nurses. But we kind of worked on the basket because Cutie gave us signs a little earlier. So we made a little thank you baskets. I pause this. I'm with my wife. Baby Cutie's fine. The moment Baby Cutie's not, I will tell you. Uh, you're doing an amazing job of making sure Cutie's fine, baby. Hmm? Doing amazing. Scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it now? Oy, <coughs> seven. Seven, barely? Oh, it's because I know it's gonna get worse. <laughs> so they turned off the lights in the hallway, sort of. So we're just here walking still. She's got them strong contracts and still going. And I'm still thinking it's a girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm still thinking. We had some of the nurses guess too. The anesthesiologist, the phlebotomist. Everybody's guessing, so. 
Got a little tally going. <laughs> So it's 9.45, um, they just finished, I hadn't been able to record <laughs> like the past hour. Um, Alejandra started uh, contracting really hard, I guess to say it. Yeah. She, um, she was pretty bad. <laughs> so she, um, she ended up getting the epidural. So they just finished the whole epidural process, everything, you know. They get get her taken care of. So right now she's just a little bit cold, but she's mm -hmm. she's shaking a, lot. shaking a little bit. A little bit. She's, she's dancing. Crazy. She's dancing the waka waka under the covers. Usually, as per her, when she gets to about six, it's kind of like one through five mm -hmm. is really slow. When she gets to six, it's like seventy nine ten. So mm -hmm. we'll find a way for the seventy nine ten. <laughs> so baby, you ready for this? Yes, I'm very, very yes. ready for this. I want to have my baby. She was very brave. She did not flinch mm -hmm. with the epidural. There was uh, contractions, really strong contractions in between, and she just, <laughs> just breathed, right, breathed, no, breathed, was breathed. Yelling. She, you were not yelling. So she did amazing. She was apologizing to everybody, but she did amazing. So I'm so proud of you, baby. You did awesome, man. I love you so much. I love you. Are you okay like this, or do you want the pillow like that? Um, no, it's 10 15, and they just uh, ruptured her bag to help induce a little bit. She was at six centimeters, so there was progress. However, doctor wants it a little faster. <laughs> and to keep from having any more meds in her system. Uh, they wanted to give her Pitocin, so we decided on doing the water. Mm -hmm. Rupturing her bag instead, so right now we're waiting. She's, uh, oh, let me just show you. She's on the peanut ball under there. So it's kind of open up her, her pelvis, so we're hoping that goes well. We're praying that everything's good, and we'll keep keeping you guys posted. of pressure right now and there's her underwing in you got this my love you're so amazing yep she's complete and i color of okay what station like almost plus two okay awesome. which station am i almost plus two plus one plus two. Oh. Oh my god okay we're gonna set up everything okay, okay. Uh, give us two minutes okay okay get everything set up going yeah Oh my god. I think she's 
¿Sientes la presión? Sí. It's a girl, baby. It's a girl, Regina. It's Regina, my amor. It's Regina, my amor. This one finally is gonna look like mommy. <laughs> Pues My wife did amazing. She did great. In a span of like two minutes, within two contractions, she pushed that whole baby out. So, baby, love you so much. She did amazing. You look beautiful. You were cheerleader. I was her cheerleader. You're the best, baby. Thank you so much for cheering me on. Love you. Love you. So this bed's big enough for the two of us. We're gonna have our celebratory dinner that they provide. We're celebrating just the, the birth of our child, just everything going smoothly as possible. Everything good, healthy baby, healthy mom. Now we'll, go, we'll show you guys what's up. Mm -hmm.